Righto, ladies and gents, I promised I'd have a crack at getting Chef Julian over. As always, I caught the fish. He brings the knowledge and the skills. I'm back. I also bought the beers. He bought the beers this time. One condition on the cooking show. We don't start it without a beer. And Jeez. it is quite a day for it. It's about 35 degrees at the moment. Yeah, That's yeah. why we're doing this outside. Cheers. Good day for it. Thank you, Sammy. Cheers, guys. Fantastic. That's really good. Now, like I said, fresh, fresh kingfish now. I know what we're cooking because you told me about this and it's wet my appetite yep. to give it a crack. What are we doing? I've been playing this one for a while, Sammy, so I'm glad you asked me for it. Kingfish is awesome with a ceviche. Now, this is one of the great multi-fish dishes, particularly in summer. It's cool, it's fresh, but it's great with pelagic. So your dolphin fish, marlin, kingfish, mackerel, anything like that, it's all perfect. Yeah. And it's really, really easy, in fact. Julian reckons we'll be eating it within five minutes and that gets me excited. Yeah. Take the floor. Classic chef stuff here is one I prepared earlier. So diced avo, um, finger lime here is actually a bit of a rare ingredient I find in a lot of supermarkets, but if you go to a good one, you'll find them. And I've just split this open. You can see the little pearls of caviar that just pop out there. So this is a really unique flavor and this is a bit of a hero of the dish for me. Other than that, diced chili, that's just a long red, but you can go as hot as you want. Thinly sliced radish, and I've got some lovely kaffir lime leaf. I might do that before I hack into the fish. Julian assures me, if you want to ruin your dish, you can chuck coriander in there as well. Um, I don't recommend it, but uh, you know, look, strange things have happened. I highly recommend it if you're into coriander. <laughs> Two kaffir lime leaves, and you fold them over like a book along the, the seam. Take out the little spine of the book. And then this part here, you need a really sharp knife for. So yeah. we're eating the pages. Yeah, eating the pages, <laughs> thinly sliced. And you need a sharp knife. And then this, this makes the dish as well, as much as the finger lime, the kaffir lime. So it's a three lime dish. I think traditionally limes are used, but this has got finger lime, kaffir lime, and normal limes. But it's got to be like hair thin. Like, see that? I just slipped on one and it's like, Maybe only like a millimetre and a half thick. No too th good. Too thick. Gone. Fail. That's enough. That'll do. So I'm going to go slightly thicker than I normally would on a sashimi. I'm going to go, what did you call that? Half a centimetre? Yeah. Give or take. I think traditionally um, a dice is used on ceviche, but I really like um, breaking up the connective tissue on this and you get a more tender product, I think, if you slice it. What do you reckon? I think that's That'll pretty close to what we that's need. That's a meal. I'm hungry, yeah. so that's probably enough for me. I don't know if you're, <laughs> if you're getting any. Oh, no. Don't worry about me. Now we're going to make a dressing and we're going to stop for refreshments. Marinate yourself. Mm -hmm. So the base of this is lime juice here. I've juiced one lime. And I'm going to match that with probably, I'm just guessing here, about half the amount of palm sugar. So if that's... 50 mils of lime juice, maybe 25 grams of palm sugar. You might see the odd hand flying through the screen here, guys. We're battling flies. <laughs> it's come with the outdoor territory. It's, We've got flies. It's but a stonking hot day. That won't stop us. So I just put that straight through the grater, and that comes out really, really fine. And then I'm going to match it again with a similar amount of fish sauce. This stuff is potent, so go, go easy. easy. You can add more, but you can't take <laughs> it out. My best friend, Mr. Chili, goes in and... We mixy mixy, that'll do. So, gotta dissolve that palm sugar, give it a good mix. But you've gotta taste it to check the balance. So I'm going for it. Wouldn't be a chef without tasting. Mm. You nailed know, it? It's powerful. I reckon, it's sour, it's salty. I could do hotter, but I wouldn't wanna upset you, Sammy. You never would, you <laughs> never would. So I take this lime, and I use my thumb and I just pop all the gear out like that, straight in there. So I'll do a whole finger lime in this. Shredded kaffir yep. lime. Yep, in, in you goes. go. And that's just a pinch, not the whole whack. Yeah, that's probably one leaf and I'll keep another one to, yep. to go on top. The garnish. The garnish. The garnish. So oh, no. this is what it looks like. Do, was I meant to mix that? Yeah, yeah. Because I did. Course. It's good, it's good. It's mixed and that's what it looks like at this stage of the dish. Now we have to dress the fish and present. Right. Play it up. So I'm just gonna lift the fish and drop it straight in the bowl. Whoa. 
you bamboozled me with a side step. Oh, straight, straight in the, bo <laughs> in the bowl. Now, it, it doesn't really take um, very long to cure at all. The acid from the lime just starts working its magic immediately. So within two minutes, this is like good to go. So by the time you get this to the table, I reckon that's done. And you can see the fish is starting to go opaque from, uh, from that kind of fleshy colour. It's gone opaque, kind of whitish. And that's the, uh, the acid work and it's magic. That's it, starting to change the proteins and give you a different texture as well. So I don't really want this to cure all the way through and that's why I sliced it to that thickness too. I think that's somewhat important, the size that you, you slice it to. But I like the rustic sort of style Go rustic. on this one. It's like, it's very simple. It only took Rustic's us, more achievable. Took us a couple minutes to knock exactly. up too. It's not exactly uh, rocket science. Just taste it and make sure your dressing's well balanced. So for me, like texture is really important besides the fish itself. So I'm just like gonna break up a few random bits of avo, diced avo in there. Full Australia. Yeah, full Australia avo. I'm gonna go another sprinkling of kaffir lime leaf because that is all the tasty business. I've got some baby radish that I've sliced really, really thinly. The mint, I reckon, is really good too because you got crunch from the radish and you got uh, that fresh kind of flavour from the mint. Well, it's looking mighty. Look at this little rotational pan there. Oh, nice. Fancy. So that, that to me, on a hot day like this afternoon, a stonking hot day, is going to just elevate the dish. Elevate. Just elevate it's that It's been dish. elevated. That little bit more. And then just a little garnish with the leftover juice. Well guys, that is absolutely summer in a dish. And this is why I get Julian on the show because he makes it look so easy and so much better than I was going to. Would you like the first piece? I See? would, I actually came just because I was hungry and thirsty. <laughs> so I've had the beer, I'm ready for some ceviche. Let me get some of everything. Mate. So everything in, all in one? Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. Cheers guys. Yeah. So we're wearing mics, I mean, you'll be able to hear us chew, mm. only because we're enjoying it. So if you, if you couldn't hear us chew, you wouldn't believe that we're actually eating it. You can chew with us in spirit. <laughs> That's good, no? That is really good. Mm. I think I need more. Dig in. You dig in, I'll I'm keep real. talking. Mm. Guys, give that one a crack. That's one of those really easy, simple, tasty dishes that you can try at home. It looks fancy but it's really easy to do. So, you know, get something pelagic, give that a try, impress your friends, or just whip up a mean feed for yourself. Mm. Chef Julian, thank you very much for coming on again. My pleasure, Sammy. Guys, we need a better chef name for Chef Julian. DJ's got really cool names, so we're gonna put it to you guys to come up with an awesome chef name mm. for Chef Julian, something awesome. Let us know in the comments. Um, if it's good enough, he'll come back on the show. That's blackmail. <laughs> Points for extra funny funny. Yeah, it's got to be funny. Mm. It's not entertainment. It's just like chef really good at cooking, then it defeats the purpose. Yeah. Go hard. Let your imaginations fly. <laughs> um, righto. Well, we're going to finish this. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Happy cooking. Guys, before we wrap this video up, just wanted to quickly let you know that there still are shirts available. You've got the two styles you know and love, the slow and deep jigging club, the fishing and beers, and the third piece to the puzzle, the OG Sammy Hitsky Fishing, SHF on the front, the Hooks logo on the back. All the merch is live on the website now, www.sammyhitskyfishing.com. Make sure you get your orders in before the 18th of December and I'll upgrade your shipping to Express so you have it before Christmas. Cheers guys, have a good one.